Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Ben's Box. Today we're going to start the interacting with MySQL using PHP course. Okay, so this is still part of MySQL, uh, but now we're going to be looking at PHP as well with the MySQL. So, like I said in the beginning of this introduction of MySQL, if you don't know your PHP, please go back and learn that first and then come here after, because there's no point in jumping in the deep end because you won't get it uh, as easily as you should. Okay. Uh, but the first thing we need to do before we can do anything with PHP and MySQL is to connect to our MySQL database using PHP. Okay, um, and this, as you can see at the moment, I'm Dreamweaver. This is the script that you use to connect to MySQL. All right, so as I, you can see, I have my four four variables up here: a server, user, pass, DB for database. Okay, uh, your server. Okay, normally it's localhost. Uh, sometimes it's not. If it's not, then uh, you will need to contact your web host, um, or alternatively, PHP my admin on your web host, and it will be this bit up here. Okay, so as you can see, my server says localhost. Uh, the next part you'll need is your username. Okay, so you should have already created a username um, and a password, either in cPanel's MySQL databases or MySQL database wizards, or on Xampt. Okay, uh, if you have any problems with this at all, email me. Um, but if you are using a web hoster, I would recommend emailing them instead because yeah, they're the ones that be able to have access to it. Okay, and the last thing um, after the username and password is our database itself. So we're going to be connecting to my tutorials database, which is where we're going to be doing all our tests and our, our examples. Okay, uh, so there's the variable setup, uh, and then we need to use the PHP function that is MySQL connect. So that's this bit here. Okay, just this bit highlighted. Uh, basically, that what that does it says MySQL connect two brackets, and then I have this uh, the server, my username, and then my password. Okay, which a demo password just for this tutorials. Okay, um, and if you remember from the PHP tutorials, um, basically the exclamation mark means uh, is not equal to. Okay, it basically means not. Okay, so what this if statement here is saying is if MySQL uh, connect does not work got the exclamation mark, uh, print out or echo the MySQL default error which means which is die and with the error inside of it. Okay? So if if this fails, this MySQL connect fails, it's just going to print out the basic and default MySQL error. Uh, but if that works, it will allow us to connect to a database or try to connect to a database and that is MySQL select underscore db which is MySQL database selection. Okay and again I've got the exclamation mark here because um, if it doesn't work, I'm going to print out the MySQL default error. Uh, but if it does, it's going to print out database connection is good. Okay, so that's basically at a glance. It gets no more complicated than that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up my browser. And as you can see, at the moment I have MySQL connection is good, database connection is good. So that means basically I've connected to my database, or at least to MySQL as well. Okay, which is good. Uh, but I just want to show you just basically what happens if something goes wrong. So what we'll do first, we'll just change the um, the database. So the database will mess up and uh, we will get the MySQL error. Okay, just to show you. Okay, so it says own unknown database tutorials, whatever that, however you say that, right now. Okay, so that's if the um, database doesn't work. Um, let me go back and let me change the login details. And uh, if this doesn't work. I'll show you that error. Just so you are familiar with the errors if you ever get them. Okay. But like I say, if you do have any problems, I'm more than happy to help. And by current guarantee that I'll respond straight away. Okay, and as you can see here in Google Chrome, I've got the error uh, because my details are wrong. Okay. So if you do see that that is the reason why your login details are incorrect. But that's basically it to uh, create a login detail. No, sorry, to connect to your MySQL. Now the way we will be using this in our series, um, and uh, probably in these tutorials here, uh, what we'll do is stick it into its own little PHP document, and we will in use the include that we learned in the PHP tutorials to bring it into our PHP document as and when we need it, so it's not always connected. Okay. Um, we won't also have any of these if statements. As soon as you've tested it, we will take the if statements out, we'll stick it in its own document, Okay, like I say, um, and there'll be no errors or anything from it. Okay, if there is any errors and um, it doesn't connect, 
uh, then we'll sort it out another time. Okay, but at the moment that's not what we're focusing on. We're just focusing on the connection and just basic uh, my SQL with PHP without hoping or hoping without any errors. Okay, uh, so what I'll do, I will put this into a document that you can download, both with this little test, and I'll put an extra bit on it just as it should be shown. Um, if well, when we do the include part, okay. Uh, so if you are on YouTube, head over to Ben's box. The link should be in the description, and you can download this little template here, because uh, this is basically the way you will connect to MySQL. So if you have this template, then you can't go wrong. Okay. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.